What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video today. Hold up now. I don't like the camera right here. Hold up. Just a... Okay. Still not perfect, but you know what, Brad? We're gonna live with that. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new episode, or just video, I guess. I've done this a couple times on the channel, but I figured I did something that over the weekend that I should have probably made a video about. Maybe I can do it in the future, maybe a tutorial-style video. But today, man, we're diving into another edition of WWE Action Figure Closet. And that is pretty much just taking some custom cloth goods, some cloth goods that I have here, and we're gonna dress up some figures and make some fix-ups that I'm really excited about. Now, if you guys are unaware, actually, I know you are aware, man. And you know the Jazzwares curse, the AEW Jazzwares curse, where, you know, you get cloth goods from AEW figures, you put them on your figures, or you just pull them out of the packaging, and what do you do? You pull off the figure, and it has staining all over the shoulders, all over the rib cage, all over the torso. It just Fs them up, right? Well, today, man, I'm going to tell you guys not only, well, I guess uh, today's sort of a, see, I could ruin all these figures right here, man, but I think I found the solution now. A lot of these figures here, or these shirts that we have today, I have two tables full right here. A lot of AEW Jazzwares clothes. However, we're going to be dressing up all these figures, and I guess if they stain all these figures, first of all, I'm going to be pissed. But I feel like it's going to work out. Now, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my process, but today we're going to be going through each individual figure, breaking down the shirt that I'm going to put on there, and then we'll look at all the figures in their clothing at the end and just kind of address it here. But what I did was I ran some water in my sink. I got a bowl, and I, I made it maybe a little bit better. I, I made it warm. It was like warm water. It wasn't like scorching hot, but it was like it considerably, considerably warm. Warm. Like, you know, it's pretty pretty warm water. Maybe right on the edge of hot, if not hot water. Not scorching, but just enough to be comfy. So I got the hot water, and then I took some Dawn dish soap, and I put it all in a bowl. So I had a hot bowl of water with dish soap in it. And I stuck all of the clothes that I wanted to wash in there, and I put it in the bowl. And then I just hand massaged every single piece of clothing. Like, wringed it out, and like, you know what I'm saying? Just pretty much took this water and massaged the crap out of the shirts, out of everything that I wanted to clean there. And like, I just had them in a big Big old hunkin' pile. And just was like, it was like I was back on the damn little house on the prairie. Just working the shish out of the clothes. And then, then I left the bowl there and let them soak in there for maybe five minutes. And then I started my sink with about lukewarm water. And then I pulled each shirt one by one out and I would wring it out in the water. So rinse all the sh soap out, rinse all the, the water out of there and just wring it out. Wring it out, wring it out real good. Made my fingers numb and sore, not gonna lie. But then I had a towel off to my side and I just laid them off one by one and laid them on the towel just like that and I let them air dry for about four or five hours until they were completely dry. I actually left them there for 24 but not because I wanted to just because I, I really I got busy. I mean that's you know what is life. So I left them there and now I have come back and now I'm going to put them on my figures and I got to tell you the bowl was full of dark water after that. The bowl had dark water in it from the extra ink and dye and whatever the hell else was in these clothes. So I'm thinking all these clothes should be good now. I don't think we're going to have any more issues or staining and we'll find the hell out here today man nonetheless let's get into these fix-ups man some of these i'm really really excited about and i think they're gonna be really sick and i'm gonna start things off with the one that i think is the is the best one or the one that i'm most excited about it's gonna be this roman reigns you guys know i love the roman reigns figures and fixing them up and i know if this was an ultimate edition if i had two of the most recent ultimate edition i'm probably gonna go to my walmart tomorrow and see i've been seeing where people are finding that new ultimate edition roman hopefully i'll be able to find one but i'm gonna make a fix-up roman of that on surgery out of this exact fix-up. Oh my god, is this head not Jesus in heaven? I have to use a god dang hair dryer on this. That sickens me. Actually, I actually have this extra Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition right here with the gold gauntlets. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> you thought, Brad, I'm just gonna take this off and then put this other shirt over It's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna leave him like this. But I'm gonna put this on this Roman and put him back on the shelf later. But that's not a fix-up we wanna see. I'm gonna be putting the Unrivaled 6 Jake Hager hoodie jacket shirt on here. Because you guys know this stuff the hell out of the figure, but with the gold trim and the hood, I think this is going to make for a pretty damn sweet little, I don't know, promo gear Roman Reigns right here. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty hyped about it. Hopefully it like fills out the bicep and makes it look all good, but uh, hopefully this is not going to stain this figure. I, it shouldn't. You know, I call myself wringing it out and doing all those things. I'm going to go ahead and remove the head sculpt, plopping that over that, and then pulling this back, and then putting the ponytail or man bun head sculpt on there, and then revealing that, and pulling this over. In a perfect world, this 
wouldn't have any Velcro, but you know what? Here we are. And another thing you could do is just cut the sleeves off of this, but I don't know. That's not half bad right there. I kind of like that. We'll look at them at the end. Dude, if this stains, I'm going to have to stain my pants because this... <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed off, but I may just hack the sleeves off if it's a big deal. I don't, I don't know, man, but oh, Lord in heaven, please don't stain. Maybe I've cracked the code here. Next up, we do have... What the hell was I going to do? I think I was just going to put a CM Punk hoodie on this Supreme right here. Oh, yeah, this Roman back here. This was going to be my head sculpt for my, my fix-up. I didn't want the long hair. I wanted the man bun. So you're no longer useful. But here, I think I'm just going to put the Supreme hoodie on here because I think it'll look really good. And I'm going to roll the sleeves up, I think. I think this is going to be sick. So just taking that, putting this through here. Dude, if this stains... I'm gonna remove your Dewidenum. All right, man, there we go. That looks pretty damn good. We'll take a look at them at the end there. Oh, these look so good, man. This is like one of the best parts of the of the collecting game, I feel like. Am I wrong about that? Next up, I swear to geez, I've done this before, but I have an Elite 64 Rollins here, and I know it's old, but this doesn't really match the era, right? Like, this is like Burn It Down Seth Rollins compared to now with the, like, you know, the Seth Drippin' Rollins and whatnot, so this should look good on here. I'm pretty sure I, I did this fix-up, or maybe he wore this on, like, MD DT Live or something, I want to say, back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a really old shirt that also used to stain, and today, I think we've gotten all the staining out of it, so I'm hope I'm hoping that this will not stain this figure. But this looks, this is a great shirt. This is a, I own this shirt, and I think it's going to look good on this Elite 64 Rollins. Next up, we have an Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy that's kind of a mixture between an old or a modern and a, you know, a throwback Jeff Hardy here. And this is kind of a throwback Jeff Hardy shirt, but this is going to look good on here as well, I think. This is, this is going to look sweet, I think. Dude, if this shirt had glow-in-the-dark paint and this head sculpt had some glow-in-the-dark paint on it and his body had glow-in-the-dark paint on it and just everything that exists had glow-in-the-dark paint on it, this would look sweet. But I still think this is going to be a cool fix-up. And then if we move on, who else we got? We got this punk here. I think I was going to put... My worries with this is I feel like I'm going to have to like hack the, the bottom of the shirt off so it would, it'll would it look better, but maybe not. We'll see about that. I feel like this shirt's going to be a little bit too long for the torso, but patiently waiting on our ultimate, man. Patiently waiting on our ultimate. I think probably maybe WrestleMania weekend we'll get an announcement, maybe uh, something like that, hopefully before that, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at this punk at the end. I think we're going to get we're gonna get some punk announcements hopefully soon, man. The next time they reveal new figures, maybe we get a... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be Comic-Con, I guess, or maybe they'll just come out of nowhere with it, but next up we have another best in the world. I think this is going to go on the Elite 16. I really like this shirt, man. It's a really nice shirt. I think, you know, this checks all the boxes for me. So, Elite 16 here. This is kind of like a very minty Elite 16 right here, actually. I have three of this figure, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but I think putting this shirt on here and then getting it going, yeah, he's going to look alright. Next up, we have this punk, which I think is going to look super sweet. So, here's like our fix-up promo gear CM Punk. So I think if we put this hoodie on here, and then he, then he really looks like he's chilling. So he's got two different shirts on. Or one shirt, you idiot. It's one shirt and a hoodie. It's completely different things. Hopefully it's not too thickums in the sleeve area. Dude, I don't care what anybody says. Making promo gear wrestling figures is just the best. I mean, I like even making like street gear Marvel Legends, you know, like civilian figures, man. I don't know. They, those just make the world go around. But we'll take a look at Punk at the end. Now we're getting into some of my favorites right here, man. We have the Willow Jeff Hardy. And the reason he's always been shirtless and not with a shirt because this has always stained the figure, or it, it would have stained the figure, but now I think we can finally put this on him without it staining the figure, and let's hope to God so, because if this stains my Willow Jeff Hardy, I'm gonna Willow away. We'll take a look at Willow. Alright, man, our last two are gonna be Cody Rhodes figures, and we're gonna re we're gonna remove their belts, man. I'm really excited for the new top picks, Cody, specifically, because I think that this shirt's gonna look really, really good on here. We have the blue shirt that I think's gonna look We have the blue shirt that I think's gonna look good, and then we have uh, this headless Cody, which his head just fell off. We're going to put this black shirt on there, which I guess you can make an argument that this would look good on here, and this one would look good on here. And you're probably right, but you know what, Brad? We're going to have to wait. But let's just uh, let's fast forward and look at all everything we got up next to each other. All right, man, here we go. We got the full lineup right here looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty proud of all of them. I think they came out pretty much how I envisioned them. I will say some of the shirts are a bit long. I think that all of the ones that were supposed to 
school and Supreme figures, maybe besides this Supreme Punk, like the Supreme hoodie right here on these two figures. Probably a bit long, like this this shirt right here on the Punk, the undershirt, the ringside exclusive, was meant to go on an unrivaled or unmatched figure, not a Supreme, so that's why it fits so well. However, uh, however, this these four at the end right here were meant to go on Supreme figures, right? So these are from Supreme Cody's, these are from Supreme Punk's, and that's probably why the torso's a little long, and that's also why their scaling's a little bit effed up sometimes, but I might come in and cut these shirts because I feel like it won't really make a difference, especially on the Cody. I feel like, you know, I think that's going to look okay. I, and maybe I'll play around with the Ultimate or maybe the new Ultimate. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to put the jacket on that. But you guys know I'll have multiple copies. I don't know. We'll we'll see exactly what we go there. But I think all of them look good, man. Starting out first, we do have our Jeff Hardy here. This one's very clean, even though it does have this weird basic head sculpt with, like, the blonde on the sides. I still like this a lot, man. I like the way the shirt looks. I'm very happy that I decided to do this. You have the necklace. You have the body paint. Really just embodies everything right here. I think this looks really, really clean. The CM Punk figures, you know, these look okay, I think. This one specifically, I like the sleeves rolled up. It kind of reminds me of like an entrance punk or something like that. Again, these elites down here, this Elite 20, a little bit too long of a shirt. The shirt still looks good on the figure, of course, but I think it could look better if we cut the shirt. You know, I think uh, same thing with the Elite 16. If I cut the shirt and you could see the full trunks, I think that would really make it stand out, to be honest with you, but I do like all the punks. I think they all look, you know, pretty nice. This looks like a great promo or backstage punk right there. A little meet and greet punk. I like all four of the punk figures. We also have our Seth Rollins over here that I want to take a look at. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was on MDT Live or something like that, man. It looks very, very familiar to me, which is probably why I put this shirt on here. It just looks very familiar for whatever reason. So maybe somebody can do the research on that one. I'm pretty damn sure this has been featured on MDT Television. We also have our Willow figure. This looks so damn good, man. This is, oh man, this, I'm pretty sure, didn't, didn't the Willow version of Jeff Hardy wear the shirt a lot of the time? If I'm not mistaken, you could, I could be wrong about that, but I want to say this is the shirt he wore the most, but the Willow here looks really, really good. Love the head sculpt on here. Just a very clean figure, man. I, I love this Willow Jeff Hardy. One of the more underrated pieces right there. And then we also have our couple Cody's. Again, much like the CM Punks, need to cut the shirts, I think. I think it would really do wonders for them. But yeah, I mean, you guys can kind of see the vision there. If I cut the bottom of the shirt, it would really tighten up the shirt, and then you could see the weight belt going over the shirt, which I think would really enhance it. But I like this shirt on here and this shirt. If you flip the shirts, would it probably be better? Maybe because he has a little navy on these tights over here, but I have a really sweet fix up me like around a Cody Rhodes figure that's not even supposed to be Cody Rhodes that I'm excited for. I don't know how long I'm going to wait on that. I need a couple more copies of Cody before I can really execute it, I think, but I have exciting plans for that, which you guys will see later. And then last but not least, we have the big dog, the tribal chief. We have Roman Reigns here, and I am just begging that this does not stain, but I do love the way this came out. You have like that hoodie on the back there, and I do wish that it didn't have the Velcro, but I like how it like covers up the neck right there, and then you have the tattoo coming out with the gold gauntlet and the black and yellow, or the black and gold looks so damn clean. I really like this, so really proud of the Roman Reigns. This one really sets it off for me. This one was the most creative, in my opinion. I don't think I've seen anybody try that one just yet, so that one I was really, really excited for, but that is pretty much going to wrap up this edition of WWE Action Figure Closet, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all these fix-ups down below. If you guys have tried that method, what's your method of getting staining or not letting your clothes stay? I guess in the morning, at the time you're saying, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to pull all these shirts off and if any of them have staining, I, again, man, I'm going to be very upset. So hopefully all I did get all the staining out. I'm telling you, the water was completely, like, very, very dark. I think I got all of it out, but hopefully none of it soaked back up in there. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. Patron exclusive video dropping this week, of course. But that is going to do it for the video, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.